Hello, my name is Matthew Bannerman, and I am one of the curriculum developers and trainers with Pasco Education. Welcome to SparkView 4.0. This latest release of SparkView brings a number of outstanding changes to our most commonly used software solution, and we are excited to share them with you. In this video, I will show you how to pair our wireless sensors with SparkView 4 and how to select which of the wireless options you want to use with that sensor. When you open SparkView 4, you are greeted by the chooser screen that you see here. Any of these buttons will allow you to connect a wireless device. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to click on the middle button, Sensor Data, which brings me to this screen, the Sensor Data Configuration screen. You can see that my wireless smart card is already turned on and actually already paired with SparkView on my computer. As in previous versions of SparkView, devices in our wireless Bluetooth 4 line show up automatically in SparkView without needing to pair them with the computer's Bluetooth radio. The sensors show a six-digit identifier that students can use to determine which cart is theirs. Sensors also still sort by distance from the device running SparkView, so the sensor most likely to pair with that device appears first in the list. To connect, if I weren't already connected, I would simply click on the sensor. I want to set up a graph to collect data, but the smart cart contains so many sensors. While I could collect data using all of them, I probably don't need all of that data at the same time. In order to choose which sensors I want data from, I select or deselect the checkboxes next to each of the sensor options. For the purposes of this video, I want position, velocity, and acceleration from the movement sensor, so I select those three measurements and deselect everything else. Then I click Graph, and each of the three pieces of data appears in its own graph. From this screen, I can rearrange my graphs by choosing which data appears on which axis. I can also choose to enable one of the sensors I had previously turned off from the axis selection window to the right. For example, what if, instead of acceleration, I wanted to measure the force when the smart cart hits a barrier after rolling for a distance? I would simply click the axis currently labeled acceleration and choose force instead. Once I'm satisfied with my layout, I start data collection by clicking the start button in the middle of the bottom navigation screen. We hope you're as excited as we are about SparkView 4. See you in the science classroom.